Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Coach Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to learn about the richest customer wealth question. So we will solve the question. But before we solve the question, let me remind you of this particular Discord server that has been created by Prince Verma sir, an alumni of Edignite NGO. Over here, he will regularly post some useful content and updates from topics from several topics in IT sector. Okay, so over here you can ask as well as discuss about several topics related to the same field. So if you if you are a computer science thing, enthusiast or if you want to excel in the career in your IT field, then do join this Discord server. The link is given right in the description below. Do join the server and share the link with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation coming back to the question so this is our question on richest customer wealth okay i have copied this question okay i have uh, taken a picture of this question into the whiteboard so let us move to whiteboard over here and you can see that we are given we are given m cross n integer grid okay so we are given a matrix or we can say a 2D array, okay, where account IJ uh, is the amount of money the ith customer has in the jth bank, okay, return the wealth that the richest customer has, okay. So over here you see we are also given example, okay. So here let us write 1, 2, 3 and 3, to one okay so this is the wealth of first customer okay and these are all banks so this is bank b1 this is bank b2 and this is bank b3 okay this is c1 and this is c2 so customer one gave one rupee to bank one two rupees uh, stored two rupees in bank two and three rupees in bank three okay so total money with the customer is equal to six over here also total money is equal to six okay now let us look at one more example okay so let us write over here four five two one nine Three, uh, four, five, two, one, one, nine, three, two, and five, six, one, four. Okay, so this is C one. This row corresponds to C one. This row corresponds to C two, and this row corresponds to C three. What we need to do is first of all we need to find sum of uh, the total wealth the customers have. So over here it has twelve. Okay, 12 rupees or 12 units, we can say. Then it has 14 units and over here 6 plus 5 is 11. Okay, or 6 plus 4 is 10 and 10 plus 6 is 16. Okay, so customer 3, okay, customer 3 is the richest customer. Okay, customer 3 is the richest customer of all three customers and thus we need to return we need to return 16. It's very simple. Okay. This problem, this particular problem is really very simple. So what, what we are going to actually do? Okay. We will run a for loop for each and every customer. Okay. We will run a for loop for each and every customer. Okay. So let us run. First of all, we will run for i. Okay. So i for i from for i for all customers i will just write for i okay for i i for all customers okay for i for all customers now we will over here we will have max okay we will have an int we will have integer max max will be equal to zero i'm just writing the pseudo code this is not the code of any particular programming language this is the pseudo code okay so over here then we will write for j okay but before we do that we will initialize some okay we will initialize some as zero and then we will have for loop okay for j for all banks okay money in all banks 
then we will add it to sum okay so sum will be equal to sum will be equal to sum plus money in bank so money in bank i am just writing the short form over here okay so over here you see that i have we have given sum and then and then we will just have a conditional statement if max if max is less than sum okay or if sum is greater than max then max will be equal to sum max will be equal to max will be equal to sum and then we will return max okay we will return max out uh, from we will come out of both these for loops okay and then we will return max over here okay so it's that simple first of all we are totaling the cost okay we are doing the total and then we are checking for maximum okay then we are checking then we are checking for maximum value okay and we are doing it we are doing it for all all customers okay for all customers we are doing the total and then we are checking for maximum so it's that simple now let us move to our code okay let us move to our code and uh, code over here okay so i will just uh, remove okay expand this window coding window and over here we will have uh, two things to be initialized int sum and int max okay now we will write for int i equal to 0 okay i equal to 0 i less than okay over here accounts accounts dot okay or sorry accounts and over here we need to have size of accounts okay size of accounts and then i plus plus i plus plus okay so for i int i equal to 0 this and accounts dot size and i plus plus max is equal to zero and over here sum is also equal to zero okay now we need to write for int j int j or let let me just initialize sum over here okay so i am initializing max over here and sum inside okay so int j equal to 0 into j equal to 0 okay it will run from 0 till number of banks okay so uh, number of banks let, let me write double c over here okay so number of banks for iat customer will be accounts accounts for number of banks for iat customer will be equal to this okay accounts i dot size and then we will write j plus plus as accounts i is just the number of columns okay now here we are counting num here we are counting number of columns that correspond to number of banks. now we will write sum equal to sum plus sum equal to sum plus accounts accounts i and j accounts i and J, jth column and ith row okay or money stored in jth bank for ith customer now we will uh, compare both the things so if sum is greater if sum is greater than maximum then maximum maximum equals to sum okay maximum equals to sum now we will move out of the for loop and return maximum return maximum let us now run the code and see if it works bravo the code has been accepted okay and now let us submit the code and let us check if uh, the solution has been accepted yes it has been accepted okay the solution has been accepted and run time is 4 milliseconds okay so this was about richest customer wealth problem solution in lead code that's it for this particular session. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you everyone.